The next option is to override your ISO, quite similar to how we do a couple of the other ones. The value factor does it by times by 1, times by 10, times by 100. So if you know that you want to have an ISO of 250, you can do 10 times 25, and that will give you a 250 ISO if you just have a look here. You'll see up the top here when it focuses, you've got a 250 ISO. So, yeah, overriding the ISO is actually one of the easier options. If you knew that you wanted a really high ISO, you could do, you see I've just times it by 100, so that should be a 2500 ISO, which will be pretty grainy, but if that's what you want, that's what you can get. Um, Overriding the ISO is important. Remember when we were talking about the stars and you're trying to do a 15 second shot but you can't because it limits your ISO to 100? Well here you can override it. So if we timed it by 100, we could say that we want a 700 ISO at night time and there it is. 100 times 7, 700 ISO. So it's really easy to use. It's a really handy um, override to have. I wish they were all that simple to use.